struggling to get past bosses, or maybe you just want to take on a secret boss. Either way, I got you covered. Today I'm going to show you how to make any persona absolutely busted. Before we get started, I have a proposition for you. What if I told you that you could get real-time advice from me directly? I got your ear, right? Well, all you got to do is click my link in the description that will take you to my Discord server where I can easily mold you into an expert. On to the video. The method that you're going to use utilizes the fusion alarm feature. The feature will be available to you after you reach the third palace, which will be on June 21st. Until that, you'll need to use incense if you want to increase your persona stats, or use the gallows normally since it unlocks on June 21st. There's also a couple of prerequisites before we can abuse this method to its fullest extent. First, you'll need to rank up Ryuji's confidant to rank 7, which unlocks the instant kill perk. You'll also need to rank up Chihaya's confidant to rank 8 to unlock the celestial reading perk, which forces a fusion alarm and increases the chances of one going off for the remainder of the day for 20,000 yen. Once you've done both of these things, the world is your oyster. Before we get started, you want to make sure you have the persona you want to power up picked out. Personas aren't just stats anymore, they have traits that can make them even stronger. It's good to have an idea of what kind of build you want to go for with a persona before you start. It would be a shame if you got a persona maxed out only to realize you missed out on extra utility because it didn't have a desirable trait. The next thing you want to do is have Chihaya do a celestial reading so that a fusion alarm will trigger and you'll get increased chances of them going off for the remainder of the day. Then head straight to Mementos. I had no more script. This is live at this point. We are here in Mementos. After you've done what I have instructed, this is where you should be. As you can see, the velvet room door is glowing red, so that means a fusion alarm is currently active. So the next thing that we're gonna do is, you can go to any floor in Mementos, as long as you're in Mementos. Hold on, let me let me just make sure I have, you gotta have free persona slots or else you're not gonna be able to do this. Okay, all right. So, like I said, we're gonna go into mementos. So it, it really does not matter where you go. If you if you need some money or something, you can just go to a floor around your level or something. But like I said, we, we need to utilize instant kill. So to do this as fast as possible, I'm just gonna go to the first floor. All right, so we're gonna get in the car. I'm gonna look around for some shadows. There's one. Now you see how he's highlighted green? If he's highlighted green, that means you can instant kill him. So we're gonna dash up to him. All right, he's instant killed. So we got the money, we got the EXP, and we got the persona. The persona is what we need. So we're gonna look for one more. Thought I just saw, yep, over here. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the entrance. I, I happen to have 88 Goho M's. So we're gonna take those and go back to the entrance. All right, now we're in the velvet room. So what we're gonna do is, first of all, I gotta get a persona out of the compendium. So let's get, let's get our sin. I just wanted to show you guys this live so you don't get confused. I know some people are more comfortable with a live demonstration so all right so here's our sin look i've done nothing to him so we're just gonna we're just gonna get him out so what we're gonna do is fuse these two that we just got let me skip that so the video doesn't get demonetized all right persona's been made all right confirm now you, you see how he, you see how he's highlighted yellow now that means he's a mutation persona i believe it's called so now that he's a mutation what we need to do is we're going to use him to strengthen the persona that we want to power up so we're going to strengthen our sin and he's going to be the sacrifice now if you know how the fusion alarm works if you do anything with a mutation right after you make it during the same alarm anything you do involving it is pretty much guaranteed to fail and that's what we want because of the reward you get if this fails so we're gonna go ahead gotta skip that so don't get demonetized see, as you can see the the uh sacrifice failed but you don't get nothing out of it this is exactly what we needed and i'll show you why now as you can see all of its stats went up so when you do a failed sacrifice using a mutation persona to power up the persona you want you get 10 points divided amongst the persona stats 
which is really good. You don't get any EXP, but you get the stat boost, so it doesn't really matter. Unless you're really trying to learn a skill. Pretty much this is what you do over and over again until you get all your stats to 99. But since there was an accident, I'm going to get kicked out. So now what we have to do is, since the alarm is not on anymore, we have to go back. And we're going to have to keep instant killing enemies until the alarm comes back on. You just got to keep instant killing. And then while you're doing this, you'll also be gathering personas that you can fuse during the alarm. So that's another plus. There it is. Got it. So now that the alarm's gone off, we're going to use another Goho M to go back to the entrance. Back to the velvet room. Alright, we're going to fuse using two of the personas we just got. It, Like I said, it, it does not matter. Skip. Alright, personas made. Skills are changing. Do not care. Now once again, we're going to strengthen our sin using the Andres we just made. And it's going to fail again because we're using a mutation persona that we just made. And as you can see, it has failed. And more stat gains. And that's pretty much all you do. You just rinse and repeat this over and over again until you have a persona that is 99 all stats. This is pretty much what I did. This is pretty much what I did with all these guys. I, pre I did. I pretty much spent the whole day maxing all of these guys out for a secret boss fight. So, if if you have the time, uh, make sure you, make sure you do this. It's it's really good. It it breaks the game. And if you don't have celestial reading, it's still good to do this. Like fuse a persona, and then use the mutation to strengthen one that you may be using to progress through the story. That's fine too, you can just do that. But once you have a celestial reading and instant kill, definitely try to get a persona to 99 all stats, and you'll be able to beat the story mode very easily using this method. I did this with someone that was struggling really hard on their playthrough, and they were pretty much able to do end game in like a few minutes. So, yeah, this is busted. So, before I talked about having proper traits to make your persona extra useful when fighting against enemies there are different types of builds you can make for personas you can pretty much make them the way you want but usually when you're doing things like fighting secret bosses and things of that nature you want to build them in a certain way that helps you fulfill a certain goal in the fight so as you can see here this orpheus it has the trait wealth of lotus which makes it so that uh the effect of support skills that have been cast on allies last two extra turns and so i have that with pretty much every like all the auto buffs that i could get so we get auto mataro kaja auto maraku kaja auto masaku kaja masuku kaja i'm sorry if i'm pronouncing these wrong pretty much they all get these at the start of battle and they last an extra two turns that way i don't have to cast like heat riser or something at the start of battle and then I have things on it like debilitate so I can debuff the enemy. Pretty much I can get my game plan going a little bit faster. And I have repel elect to cover the weakness. Drain curse to cover another weakness. And neo cadenza which restores 50% HP. And as you can see it also increases attack, defense, accuracy, and evasion for your allies. So whenever the buffs run out you can just cast them again and heal at the same time. Very strong build. So this is just an example of what you can do uh i have one for technical damage too um so raul he's really good for technical damage since he has a trait that increases the damage by 50 percent as you can see i have i have skills that have a really good chance of inflicting uh ailments and then you just yeah you just go to work really good and this one this one's for healing because of the trait demon's bite which doubles the amount of hp that i get so i recover a lot of hp every turn instant heal so any ailment i get i recover right after actually as you can see look i have holy embrace that's 25 percent holy whisper that's another 15 percent so that that's 40 percent 
And then if you double that, I pretty much get an 80% health increase every turn. So pretty much if whatever my opponent does does not kill me on their turn, I'm, I'm getting all my health back. Very, very, very strong. Very broken. But this one is just straight damage. For people who don't have DLC or anyone trying to get through the story, this is the one I recommend right here. Yoshitsune, a classic. This was the strongest persona in persona 4 and while it's not the strongest in 5 it's still definitely like game breaking so as you can see uh will of the sword trait triples the effect of charge slash concentrate so normally charge and concentrate they make your next attack do double damage with will of the sword that effect gets tripled then i have firm stance so i take half damage but i can't dodge Auto Mataru, so I get an attack buff at the start. Arms Master, so HP skills, which are physical skills, are decreased by half because this is a this is a HP or this is a physical persona, and physical attacks cost HP. And then we have App Pupil, which increases critical chances. So very good. And then we also have Charge, just you know, just in case a uh, flow doesn't go off when I have Yoshitsune in the front. And then Hasutobi, very broken, physical skill, light damage, eight times. Don't underestimate, this move is extremely strong. Probably the strongest physical attack in the game. I'm not 100% sure because I'm not a number cruncher, but somebody out there knows. But this move is extremely strong and you can one shot final boss stuff with this build, very, very strong. So if you want something to uh, take for end game, uh, this is a build right here that you can copy and then if you have DLC or if you happen to have these personas uh, Screenshot these and take definitely take this one here for healing Take this one for technical damage. There are probably some more optimized ones out there But this one got the job done. So I just use this one. Yeah, so that concludes that oh take this for support of course D Almost missed out on this one, but yeah that concludes this video hopefully now you understand how to make super strong personas later losers